Hello. So I added 3D automata to Minecraft. There are 512 different automata. And they make pretty cool patterns like this. Starts from the top, goes diagonally down, and creates some weird pattern like this. And for now I have it so that when you play Subsidian, it will spawn a random version of this. And it creates some kind of cool patterns like this. Now it still is a little bit in development, but I thought it was really cool so I thought I'd show you. So some of them only create one side like this, which look kind of weird. But if we on one here, for example, there we go. This is a normal one. It has a, another random rule set. And it created a pretty cool pattern. And you could put multiple of them. And it'll do all of them eventually. And it's, again, pretty interesting how it works. Now, something I found interesting is that some of these are more like anti-casters, which will only destroy lava casts they encounter instead of create one. But they're all unique, and uh, it's, again, it's pretty interesting to just mess around with. So this works the same way that my 2D automata work, kind of like the Wolfram's cellular automata, and it just does that in a 3D space instead of a 2D space. And the result, it's, it's just really cool to look at. Like, you get these really strange patterns, like weirdly gapped lava casts. And if you stack another one, it just integrates with it somehow. And some of them are kind of boring, a bit solid, but it's all good. I guess I'm part of the lava cast now. So the goal is that eventually I can make a anarchy biome. And this is kind of the start to that. Because, I mean, I have all these different types of lava casts all of a sudden. So this uses bit shifting to get a cool pattern because it checks the nine blocks above it in a three by three square. Some rules do more than others. There we go. Well, that's a weird one. Look at that. But once again, yeah, they're all unique. They're all different and they're all special. So I think I could make a pretty cool anarchy biome with these, because there's so much variety. I think that just moved out half of this, and it made a new pattern. Like, yeah, you could see I'm all the way over here, but if I spawn one, like, rule 444, that only edits some of the pre-existing lava casts, which I find really fascinating. And it's really interesting how simple rule sets can lead to such diverse and complicated patterns that show up. Like, it's crazy how all these weird structures can form just from one little thing. And of course I can make a really big one real quick. But yeah, to make sure it doesn't crash, it goes down one at a time. Oh, that one's weird. This one's rule 331, and it makes chaos from nothing. Like, how do these patterns form? There's little gaps all the way down. It's all chaotic. You can probably fit a house in some of these areas. That's weird. Now currently it's just a simple 3D automata, and it doesn't actually have anything to do with water and lava, so this cobblestone could be replaced by pretty much any block, which means that this could be used for more than simply just lava casting. But it's, a cool, it's just fun to mess around with 3D automata because it creates such chaotic and fascinating results. You know, I want to load one that's 
really big, bigger than it should be. We'll go with 307. Let's see what this makes. And this is currently based off the column loading speed that you set it to. So it doesn't, again, it doesn't do everything instantly. This is kind of to prevent it from crashing. And it makes this pretty cool pattern. Now this will definitely get way too laggy in a second. Yeah, you can see it's already gone over, what is that, 2.9 million blocks? It's a big thing. It's a big boy. <laughs> and this will continue all the way down wherever it can. So this should fill into the caves nearby, like this one. But yeah, as it reaches this confined area, it starts getting more complicated because the pattern can't simply continue. So it makes new patterns, which continue in their own way. Oh my god. Yeah, so I just went AFK for a second, and I come back, and this entire cave system is pretty much filled with this lava cast. You can see it goes all the way down to bedrock. And then it clears the memory of what it's seen after it's finished. So yeah, this behaves and acts pretty much like a even more devastating lava cast. Look at that, it went all the way through, it marched all the way through this little cave, all the way down here, and found its way all the way here. That's crazy. Although, yeah, if we fly around it real quick, we can get a true sense of scale from just that one little block. And you can see the pattern shift. Oh, well, that's cool. And this one wasn't even at world height limit. This was just at, like, I think around 200-something. This would be such a chaotic weapon. But yeah, I'm planning on making a whole biome out of stuff like this, and I have other plans as well. And once again, it seamlessly integrates with the other lava cast. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for now. I'm going to be working on more 3D cellular automata at some point. But for now, I think I'm quite pleased. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.